The study of biomechanics has broadened our understanding of numerous organisms and gates, ranging from insect flight to vertebrate walking, running, and jumping. But less is known about the biomechanics of soft-bodied organisms, like this tobacco hawk moth caterpillar, Manduca sexta. I'm Michael Simon. I'm Linnea van Griethuizen. I'm Woody Woods. And I'm Barry Trimmer. The Trimmer Lab is particularly interested in how soft animals control their locomotion. Particularly in the case of animals with an open coelom, or body cavity, internal tissues are not necessarily constrained during body movement, and external markers may not provide accurate information about the position of organs. For example, this caterpillar crawls using back-to-front longitudinal waves. On the surface, it would appear that the body mass moves along with these waves. However, using phase contrast synchrotron X-ray imaging, we discovered that much more is going on beneath the surface. On the left, you can see the internal view of tissue movements using X-ray imaging, a view only 2 mm by 3 mm in size. On the right, you can see that same caterpillar under visible light, crawling on a treadmill. In the X-ray videos, we clearly see the animal's trachea, or air tubes, which exchange gas through spiracles, the eye-like holes visible on the surface of the caterpillar. Many of these trachea are connected to the body wall and muscles. We have highlighted some of these trachea in red. Not unexpectedly, these trachea move in synchrony with the body on both visible and x-ray videos. However, other trachea are connected to the gut. We have highlighted some examples of these trachea in blue. Unlike trachea connected to muscles, these gut-associated trachea do not move in synchrony with the body segment being observed, but rather with the terminal prolegs at the back of the animal, indicated on the visible light video with a blue arrow. Watch how the movements of the gut-associated trachea move well ahead of the rest of the body segment during a crawl. Quantitative analysis confirmed that these gut-associated trachea move in synchrony with the terminal prolegs and not the local body wall, indicated on the visible light video with a red arrow. Since these gut-associated trachea provide a marker for gut position, we know that the gut moves during crawling prior to the arrival of the crawl wave, advancing as much as a full segment ahead before the body wall can catch up, and that this back-and-forth gut movement, which we have termed visceral locomotory pistoning, seems to match movements of the terminal prolegs. We wanted to confirm these results in a way that would permit observation of the entire animal at once, and this opportunity came about in the form of Manduka hatchlings. Hatchlings crawl similarly to more mature juveniles, but prior to about two days post-hatching, they're translucent. Using transmission light microscopy, we observed movement of the gut directly in the entire animal at once. In this video of a crawling hatchling, you can see numerous features on the animal's exterior, but a couple small patches not associated with any external landmark are also visible. We marked these points using kinematic software and tracked all points relative to the animal's head and terminal prolegs. You can now see that the internal points, marked as points 2 and 11 here, do not move with the crawl wave, but rather move with the terminal prolegs. Further analysis indicated that internal gut marker movements correlated with the terminal prolegs and the head, but not the rest of the body. We also wanted to determine whether the gut moved as a mostly solid block or changed size during crawling. We found a linear relationship between position and marker reference correlation, indicating that the gut changes length throughout crawling, shortening throughout the terminal proleg swing phase, and relengthening during the stance phase. Based on these findings, we propose a simple two-body mechanical system for crawling Manduca sexta. While the body segments are held in tension and propelled forward by musculature in each segment, the gut acts as a nonlinear elastic structure that can translate and change length freely within the body. In conclusion, we believe that our discovery of visceral locomotory pistoning offers a fascinating new insight into the biomechanics of crawling.